Retro Bat the best gaming experience. Well, I have to say, it's pretty cool. This little plug and play hard drive. I've been doing lots of videos on these things. This one is no different. You got a ton of systems. The main thing with this one is this is one of the smaller builds out there. So it's gonna be one of the cheapest builds out there. And it does go all the way up to PlayStation 3. There is a couple Nintendo Switch games on here, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, all the Nintendos between that, GameCube, Wii, Wii U. But uh, you'll notice it doesn't have a lot of Wii U, Wii, Nintendo Switch. It's very light on the newer systems, but it has the entire collections for you know Game Boy, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Koli Ko, Sufami, Jaguar, Atari's main. It's got some pretty complete stuff there. file system and how it looks when you buy it and how do you get it working and then lastly we'll play some games show you how it works and the emulation and then uh, my final thoughts all right so let's start with all games 38,251 we're gonna go backwards today starting with playstation 3 uh, beautiful theme here a lot going on you can always change the theme if you're not into it but, um, you know, I kind of like the font when you go into the systems here. Um, so getting started off PS3, you'll notice Catherine and God of War, they both have video snaps. That's that video that's playing to see the gameplay. Uh, where the Wolf Among Us, no video snaps. So um, this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive. It's a little 5400 RPM. You hook it up to your computer and it has a pre-installed retro bat build like you're seeing now. We're now in PSP. I think PSP, it said like 80 or 90 games. So we're gonna run through these because PSP, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, GameCube, uh, Sega Saturn, this is where when you buy a cheaper build like this, you're not going to get the complete entire collection of games. You're going to get kind of a best of there. And so uh, let's go through, we're going to go through all these different systems and games and see what you're getting. But do note, this thing is going to be cheap at only 500 gigabytes. And by the way, this is PC games as well. I'm going to be going into that later in the video. But there's your PSP games and PSP does have video snaps. You'll notice some systems have video snaps and some don't. The video, pre let's call them pre video previews. They'll preview the game. PlayStation 2 does. And here you go. Um, so it's work. It's running good. Got a nice little selection of games. Spider-Man 2, Soul Calibur 2. Um, but just a smaller collection on the PS2 front. Um, uh, when it comes to PlayStation, only 47. So some of you PS1 fans... There's a lot of other builds out there. Um, there's a four terabyte build, a five terabyte build, a 12 terabyte build, 32, you know, 96, you name it, there's a build. And uh, if you're willing to buy this or wanna buy this, uh, if you wanna build it, all this stuff can be found for free on the internet. Uh, but understand, you know, I understand there's a learning curve to finding it, figuring it all out, setting it up. Um, there's some pre-built stuff out there that's also free on the internet. You just gotta go find it. There's some, some of it I've reviewed on this channel. You can go check it out. But, um, that's a little PSA for you, public service announcement that you could build this on your own if you want. But, you know, at this price, I think a lot of people are just like, I'd rather just get this and just plug it in and play. So I get that as well. And so let's see what exactly are you getting. And uh, here you got, you, we had all the Neo Geo games. Naomi had, a, you know, just a few, not all of them. Same thing with Dreamcast. But you do have like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom. Metro, Metropolis Street Racer is a fun game. Power Stone 1 and 2. And you can see we have the video previews again uh, for this. Um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. And then we're going to play some Toy Commander later. A hella fun little game. So Sega Saturn, only 27 games. And some people, um, you know, want more than that for this particular system. Um, but, you know, like Sonic... Uh, is it Sonic Jam or Sonic R? One of those games are super expensive. Um, so it's nice to be able to emulate it and just play it without scratching the disc. Sega 32X, you got all the games. Game Gear, you're going to notice it's going to have quite a few Japanese titles as well. I noticed in um, some of the Sega systems and a couple of the Nintendo systems, like the NES, you're going to have a huge um, selection of like homebrew games, hack games, Japanese titles, as well as, you know, English titles as well. Um, so you notice that, you know, why there's so many Sega Genesis games. <clears throat> there's also a lot of Sufami Turbo games as well when you get into that. Um, so here you go. Mega Drive. Just checking out some of the games. 
And I think this system, yeah, no video snaps, or it might have very select video snaps, which is kind of weird. You know, when you get into SNES uh, and those games, and even the MAME collection, the arcade games, they did not have video preview. So, but I get it. At 500 gigabytes, you need to start, you know, the video previews do take up space, whether, you know, it's a little bit, but they do take up space. So they're trying to cram a lot on this thing. And so you have to make decisions. You can't just put it all. Like I said, if you want it all, you're gonna have to buy a bigger drive. And they said they come in all different shapes and sizes. All right, Nintendo Switch. So you notice, you know, the, probably the most popular game on here is gonna be Super Mario Odyssey. They do have Link's Awakening on there as well. And then the Crash Bandicoot games are kind of fun too. So just a little bit here. What I did know about the Switch games is the controls were not working for me. So what you need to do is go back to the menu here and then go over near where it says favorites in all games. And uh, there'll be a retro bat um, uh, theme there or, or menu item and you'll click on that. I'm doing this right now. You can follow along, Retrobat. And then here's all your emulators. So you can access this through your file system as well, through Windows. But this is kind of easy to do on your controller. You can just scroll down to the system that you want to change the controls for. In this particular case, it's Yuzu. And uh, click on it, go to configuration, go to controls, and you can change your controls. And you know, that's going to help anybody out playing this because some of you are going to be on like 8-bit dough things is some of you on a switch pro controller and so that that's how you change your controls so um super nintendo msu1 these are you know advanced soundtrack snes games i highly recommend checking it out they have really cool music on them and uh i highly recommend super mario rpg if you've never played it before wii u only a couple games here mario kart and then uh this one is um the wind waker hd zelda and then for regular Wii, this kind of random that they only put Donkey Kong on there, which, um, you know, with Wii, you know, they have a lot of motion controls. So you don't want to put too many motion control games on there, but, you know, that's cool. Nintendo DS, not very many games, but they put all the Pokemons. They put all the Marios. Um, so for that, you know, I'm happy. Those would be the only games I play on this, especially like a port. I, I usually don't play portable systems very much on emulation um, unless I put it on a portable. And in this particular case, this hard drive, you could attach it to a portable system, but uh, most people are going to be posting. Most people, I think, post these to you know an, a, 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 a bar top or the TV or their laptop or their desktop computer. I would think. Um, so you know, you know, you're probably going to want to play more console and arcade games. Game Boy Advance, just a, a, a ton. Twenty seven hundred is ridiculous. Every single Game Boy Advance game, you'll find it there. If you like Game Boy Advance? Look no, look no further. So GameCube, here's where there's only like, I think it said like 20 or 30 games. And uh, that's because these games are fairly large as far as file size. And so you can't put hundreds of them on there. You just don't have enough space. We'll play some Super Smash later. You probably saw in the beginning of the video, the Super Smash uh, video that was taken directly off this build. <laughs> Game Boy Color, um, pretty much all the games, um, you know, 95% there, I'd say. There's also a Game Boy, uh, Super Game Boy, and there's going to be a regular Game Boy as well. So, and then there's Game Boy Advance, and then there's Nintendo DS as well. So quite a bit of the Nintendo portables on here, if that's something you're interested in. Those games are really small, so they don't take up a lot of space. And you notice some of these systems have video snaps, or video previews, and some don't. I think this is another one that does not. Uh, most of the portable systems do not. And uh, as far as Pokemons go, there you go. You want to see what exactly is on here. And then I also wanted to check the Wario. I think Wario Land 1 and 3, or 2 and 3, are both on here as well. And I know you want to play Wetrix, of course. Nintendo 64 is going to have all of them, plus some Japanese titles as well. So your GoldenEye. Bugs Life, Monopoly, Micro Machines, uh, all the fun racing games, uh, Cruising USA, Pokemon Snap, all that fun stuff. So Super Game Boy, you're going to see a lot more of that. You're going to see a kind of repeats of the Game Boy Color games. Uh, but if you want to play big screen Game Boy Color or bigger screen, uh, go ahead and check those out. Super Nintendo, complete set. You know, it's got them all. There's no Japanese titles mixed in. All the artwork and everything's there. No video preview files. 
but um, it's a complete set. So regular Game Boy, over a thousand there, fifteen hundred or so, <laughs> and um, you can. Uh, there's uh, most of the Pokemon games in there as well, but um, you'll see there's also some Japanese games in there. NES. So this is where it gets kind of crazy. Like, what does it say? They're like 1800, 1900. It's like ridiculous. And there's just a lot of random games in here. Now it's going to have your Super Mario Bros. It's going to have your Blades of Steel. It's going to have your uh, Arkanoid. All that fun stuff. Game & Watch. You see every build has the same Game & Watches. Those are little portable games. Uh, PC Engine, almost 300. Holy coat. All of them. Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan, Caller, all of them. Sufami, though, this is where they just, like, jam the games in there. There's, like, 3,000 or something here. Um, so, pretty much all of them. Complete set there. That's something you're uh, looking for. Um, as you see, a lot of duplicates there as well. Jaguar, um, quite a bit of games here. And, uh, yeah, if you're into that, they run. They run well. You don't need a really powerful computer to run that. Wolfenstein 3D, Worms fun stuff and then we're gonna get through the Ataris here pretty much the same Atari set you can see on all the different systems out there a little fun story about Atari 2600 ET considered the worst game ever made um, in my opinion I think it's just an easy one to, 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 to pick I think there's a lot of bad games out there but um, I was I heard the story of it that uh, what's the guy's name it was something Shaw and uh, he was uh, picked by Steven Spielberg was like hey can you make a video game for my E.T. movie but can you do it in five weeks and uh, you know they uh, said um, yeah I could do it he did it uh, it was unheard of as far as the speed that's why the game wasn't complete he said if I just had one more day to work out the bugs it would have been a better game oh another little side story when he was uh, picked by Steven Spielberg Spielberg was like can you just do like Pac-Man with like E.T. And, you know, he didn't want to just rip off Pac-Man. And even though if he did, he probably would have done pretty good well. But um, he wanted to, he's like, he convinced Spielberg to, like, let me make this adventure game where there's all these different rooms and you go into all the different rooms. Anyways, one of the reasons why it's so bad is, you know, the way you use your joystick and you can fall down a room and then you can't get back out. And if you hit your joystick a certain way, you fall back in. And so he was like, if you just gave me one more day, I would have worked those bugs out and the game would have been a lot better. And then that same year that the game came out, they um, supposedly they like they disposed of some of the games. They didn't even sell them. And then Atari did really bad that year as far as revenue from the prior year. So that's why Pac-Man gets this like bad rap. So there's a lot of things going on at the time. I don't think it was all Pac-Man or all ET's fault. But um, you know, there's a little gaming history for you. Now we have uh, MAME and Final Burn Neo, and then the LAX system is GX4000. And um, MAME, you got all your MAME games here. Your Mortal Kombat's, your Street Fighters, your 1942's, your side scrollers, your beat em ups, your shoot em ups. Uh, quite a large arcade set. Um, some, most, uh, most of the things I saw did not have uh, video snaps whatsoever. Now, in a large collection like this, where there's thousands of games, you can hit uh, select on your controller. You can find a random game if you want to play a random game. You can also go filter games by text, and you can search. I think if you also press either X or Y on your controller, it just goes directly to this filter games by text menu here. And then, so for example, I like to play um, Ultimate uh, Mortal Kombat 3. So you would type Ultimate, and Ultimate is ULT. And then, as you see there, I find Ultimate Mortal Kombat. You can pull this back up, and you can go ahead and uh, click on that, and then you can hit reset on the little um, this little pop-up keyboard, and then you're back in with all your games. You'll notice some games have a little like uh, target on them. That just means that they're light gun games. There's some you know different indicators that uh, show you different games on this build. But uh, an okay arcade set, decent. And then they do have bezels, and you can, you know, play around with shaders and things like that uh, through through the actual emulator itself. Final Burn Neo is like your original Street Fighter one. Uh, you got here you go, Capcom Baseball, Commando, Crush Roller, 
Moonwalker, Mooncrest, not Moonwalker. Moonwalker would be a name if you want to play Michael Jackson. Um, and then we're back, and the, we're on the last one, which is uh, the GX4000. Uh, after, well, after Final Burn Neo, the next one is GX4000, and that uh, concludes the uh, the games on this. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, Play Night now. Those are going to be your PC games. I'm also going to show you some uh, little shortcuts here in just a second, like how to search or how to uh, change your controls, some little things that you should know when you're playing around with this build. Uh, only thing to know for these games is you hit select on your controller or whatever your hotkey is. Speaking of hotkeys, you go here to controller settings, and then I like to map my controls. So I go to controller mapping. You're going to map. I hold down my gamepad. You can see I'm using Xbox One controller. So I do A, B, uh, X, Y. Start, select on my controller. I'm going up, down, left, right on my D-pad. My front shoulder buttons first, and then uh, left analog stick up, and then left. Right analog stick up, and then left. You don't have to do right and down. And then my triggers on my far back buttons. I got to go right, left, and then right. And then I press my sticks in. Press it in. Press it in. And then just hockey select. Trust me, you want select. So, um... You'll notice, and by the way, once you set, if you mess up, you know you can just use the D-pad to come back up if you want. Like if you go back up and you mess up, you can use the D-pad to go back up. Um, but as you see here, button six is my select button, but it's also my hotkey button. That's totally cool to do. Um, so what that does is coins will be select now. And also when you exit a game, it's gonna be select and start on your controller. And then the last system, 2,500 GX 4,000 games, kind of random that they threw that in. They were probably like, oh, we got like uh, 200 megabytes left. Let's throw that in there. Uh, and then you do have favorites. There's only one game in there now, but you can easily add the favorites in there. I think it's either X or Y on your controller. You'll figure it out. You can even just, uh, I think you can even go near a game and you press, um, let's see what it is. No, that's filter. So filter is X on your controller. Uh, save. Uh, state manager is Y on your controller. And then what do we have here? That goes up, that goes down, that moves systems. So start maybe, no, no. Oh, game options, hold it down. All right, there you go, add to favorites. So just hold down A, you can add it to your favorites. Now it's been added to my favorites, go up to favorites and this baseball game is there. Oh. All right, so there you have it. 3,800, 251 games. Let's share my final thoughts. Let's share what's actually on the hard drive and uh, interesting little build. So as far as themes, it's running the uh, Battle Battleser Club Reloaded. But uh, remember, if you're on the internet, you can easily, um, you know, go down to themes and you can look at this. It just populates up and I can download all these different themes. Pretty cool. You can even add the bezel project. You can update your battle Sarah here. All right. So here's the build. You put the plug the hard drive in your computer. You have a little readme file here. It tells you how to get started, you know, what to do. And uh, the last thing it says is don't copy this hard drive. Uh, back to the main folder here. You got your PC games in the Play Night folder. You got Retrobat, all your consoles, your emulation. And then in this far right folder I'm in right now is the DirectX. You want to install this one first. And then uh, we're going to play with the Play Night first in this build. You have two Play Nights here. You have like the desktop mode, they call it, and the full screen mode. So let's start with the desktop mode first. Desktop mode is better for keyboard and mouse, and you can see all the games really easily. So this is a good way for us to just see what games are included on this build. So here you go. You got Brotato, Chicken Police, uh, Fear, Limbo. You got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Um, you've got um, Isaac. You've got System Shock. Uh, that last game is a cool little pinball adventure game, Tunnel of Doom, etc. Now here's the full screen mode, way more uh, cooler to look at, more big box-esque looking, and then you can also use your controller, your Xbox 360 controller, whatever controller you're using, it's a lot more friendly that way. And so these are separate from the emulation, these are just PC games that are included as well. I played about four or five of them and they all worked just fine. So next is the hard drive. This is the exact hard drive I was uh, given. It's a Western Digital Blue, 500 gigabyte. 
Um, so nothing fancy, but it 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 works. Um, you know, a lot of people on the comment section are. Um, so there's gonna be gameplay now for the rest. So just enjoy the gameplay. There's a limbo. Uh, but back to the hard drive. You can you could just copy it onto your main hard drive. You could copy it onto a different hard drive, onto a thumb drive, onto a micro SD. You could do all that. I'm not too worried about it. Um, to be honest, you know, like I'm game. I'm gaming off this hard. This whole video was just running on the hard drive through my USB slot. So as you saw, there are very little hiccups, things like that. That was actually pretty scary the first time that happened. <laughs> um, but as you see there, it works. This is called like Chicken Police. You gotta like, it's kind of like mist in a way. You gotta like click on things and investigate people and question people, but uh, running really well. And uh, now we're gonna play some consoles. Uh, and to, so as far as the build goes, um, as you see here, you got the bezels looking really good. Um, you know, I think for the price, I love that sound effect. For the price, um, you can't really beat it. You can't really beat this, uh, what you're going to get. But no, you're getting kind of this hodgepodge uh, build, right? Uh, some people are going to like it to just download it and then um, add their own or they're gonna be fine they're gonna just want a couple games like this is fine this is exactly what I want good to go um, and then some of you're like oh no I need more Nintendo switch games or I need more of this this and that for those of you you just go on my channel there's other videos you get a four terabyte five terabyte 12 terabyte 32 terabyte there's lots of stuff out there additionally I like I said earlier you could download a lot of this stuff for free there's builds out there things like that you just have to go and learn it your own and um, so do note that um, something about the gameplay here this is not me <laughs> playing the game I had a, a cousin over and I let him shoot all the gameplay for this video and so he's just learning okay so <clears throat> back to the build pros and cons uh, pro it's cheap um, it works. It's got retro bat, which is, you know, probably my top three front ends. Um, you know, those are the two biggest things to me. It's cheap. It works. It's pretty great, right? The cons. No, number one, a lot of people just don't trust third party hard drives, especially if they're preloaded. I get that. You know, maybe plug this into a PC that's not your primary PC. And, um, you know, if you're really worried about that, with, with that something without internet. Um, and then the other con being, you know, this is somebody else's build. They built it like this. It might not have all the configurations, everything else that you want. And so, you know, it might take some adjusting to what you want, where if you start from scratch, you might find everything you need all in one. Um, and then the last one being, you know, the big con, would, or not big con, but another con would just be like, it doesn't have the games you want. And the whole thing with buying a plug and play device is hopefully you, you get exactly what you want, right? I want to play Street Fighter 3. I want to play it with my arcade stick. That's all I want. I don't care about any of this other stuff. And so if that's the case, then you want to just make sure you get the right build that's going to have the right games on it. And that's why I make these videos so you can see exactly what's included and what's not. Um, so you can make your mind for there, from there. Uh, so there you go. That's kind of a quick and easy, you know, quick and short pros and cons there's absolutely more but that covers most of it so you can see here playstation 2 no bezels on the side just have black bars um and uh i guess that would be another con is like you know these builds are like 90 percent done they're not 100 percent cooked <laughs> you know to keep that in mind um now uh back to playstation 2 and i want to talk a little bit about performance playstation 2 playstation 3 nintendo switch you will need you know some kind of dedicated graphics card to play those games without lag but like MAME, Super Nintendo, you know, some some of the older systems, they'll run great on like really small mini PCs, you know, even those little ones that fit in your hand, uh, they'll run on this no problem, like an i5 or so. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, this game's so cool. You get to like, you know, go in underwater and explore fish and stuff. It's called like Subnautica or something like that. It's kind of interesting. But uh, that's what I think this build, I think, you know, it's a good value play if that's what you're into but uh if you like to build your own or tinker you know there's better options out there for you so you know make up your mind yourself um that's what i think let me know what you all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one